Question number 10, no calculator. Find the values of k for which the quadratic function has only one zero. We want to set the discriminant b squared minus 4ac equals to zero. If this discriminant value b squared minus 4ac was less than zero, there'd be no solutions. If it was greater than zero, there'd be two solutions. So here, this here is our b value the value of 1 is our a value, and our c value is positive 5 over here. So b squared, we have negative k plus 3 squared minus 4. a happens to be 1. There's no number there. It's assumed to be 1. And c is positive 5. This equals to 0. So remember exponent laws, we have this square here, this exponent, and there is a hidden number one here, negative one. So what's happening here is that this negative one is a number, is gonna be squared, and so is k plus three squared. Negative one times negative one becomes positive one, so essentially anything times one is itself. So the result here is gonna be k plus three squared. I'll just write that down, k plus three squared this is going to be a negative. 4 times 1 times 5 is the same thing as 4 times 5, which is 20, equals 0. We have a binomial squared. So we have k squared. k times positive 3 is 3k. Double it. Plus 6k. Plus 3 times 3 is 9. We're using FOIL. Minus 20 equals 0. 9 minus 20 is negative 11. And unfortunately, we can't factor this. However, you can, you can use your graphing calculator to solve the approximate values of k. But if you're looking for the exact values of k, we would use the quadratic formula. Recall that we have this k is the same thing as your x value. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're just going to replace the x's with k's. So what we have here is k is equals to negative b, which is negative 6, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 6 squared, which is 36, minus 4ac. The a value is 1. The c value is negative 11 all over 2a. a is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. So what we have here is negative 6, positive negative, square root of. We have 36, and we have a negative number times a negative number, which becomes positive. And if you work it out with your calculator, we get root 80 over 2. And if you think about the, the radicand, the number 80 here, you can break it down using a tree. 80 is 8 times 10, which can be further broken down. And so 80 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So if we group these, we get these as pairs, these as pairs. They escape out of this radical symbol. So it becomes 2 times 2, which is 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 root 5. And once we've done that, you can see there's a numerator here with two terms and there's a denominator. We can divide top and bottom by two. By div dividing the, the top by two, what ends up happening is the negative six becomes a negative three. The four root five divided by two becomes a two root five. And the bottom divided by two becomes a one. So this here is the answer. Negative three plus minus two root five are the values of k such that this quadratic function has only one zero.